Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, I went out today to Winners and Dollarama. Um, just had a really rough day and um, just wanted to forget about things that had happened. So I, uh, retail therapy, um, it helped. So anyway, um, I got a couple of candles at uh, Winners and the one I have been looking for years for and I just, assumed I wasn't ever going to see it or get it. Um, they did, it was World's Journey. Um, they did have uh, about three different World Journeys there. Um, they had uh, Sahara Sun, which I do have. It is a beautiful kind of spa-like scent, uh, it, but it's a little bit light. Um, and they had Limoncello, uh, Italian Limoncello, uh, which I do have also. But the one that I was really excited about, um, and I've seen it posted here and there on like Facebook and that sort of thing, um, and I was so happy to get it. And it's the World's Journey, Rolling Hills of Ireland. And um, me and Frank were going to go to Ireland for our 25th wedding anniversary. Uh, but things just didn't uh, turn out. Um, hope, we're still hoping to go to Ireland. Uh, one of my subscribers, Dark Queen, is from Ireland, so um, I really would love to go there someday. This one was poured in 2017, and oh my gosh, it is so good. It, um, it kind of reminds me of Yankees Meadow Showers, but... Um, this one is much sweeter and um, uh, not quite as soapy, I guess you could say. It smells just wonderful. Oh, it's just a yummy, sweet greenery scent. Um, and yeah, all these World Journeys have the uh, Two Wick Paraffin Wax. Uh, for the most part, I've had some light ones, but uh, for the most part, the World Journeys have been uh, at least medium strong anyhow. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to find this and um, uh, if I do see it, another one, I, I would like to snatch it up. Uh, my dad was born in Germany and my mom, uh, her ancestors are from like Scotland, um, Ireland and, and Britain. So um, I would like to get uh, German Apple Strudel, I think, as a World Journeys candle. I'd really like to get that one. Anyway, this is the other one I got. Um, it's Yankee Candle. It's a Simply Home one, and this is Cranberry Zest. Now, um, I have burned this type of candle before in the paraffin wax. It's a one wick paraffin. And I've had you know, fairly good luck, like like any Yankee, it's or any candle in general, it's kind of hit and miss with the throw. I did burn one called Stony Cove that was a really good burn. Um, I did buy um, another one that was kind of a fall scent in the Simply Home, and I just can't remember which one it was. It was some kind of apple pumpkin scent, um, but the throw was fairly decent on it. So, but if you have a look, there is just a ton of oil in it. Um, now, sometimes Yankees, you can, it looks like there's a ton of oil and the throw's not that good. Um, but on cold, this is quite strong. It's a, it, it's a definite cranberry. It's not too sweet. It's not too tart. It's just kind of a in between. Oops. But anyway, there is a lot of oil. Um, this was poured in 2016. Um, so yeah, I mean, oil-wise, it looks pretty impressive. So hopefully it'll follow through with a, a good throw. And um, I went to Dollar Ram to get some epoxy glue. And I came out with a whole bag of stuff. Um, so this I thought I'd get for the puppy. It's just like a big huge frisbee. Um, it's fairly soft on the edges so it won't hurt her teeth or anything. Um, but yeah, just kind of throw it and let her chase it. <laughs> uh, wear her out, make her tired so she's not too hyper. Actually, she's not too bad. Um, 
So that was, uh, what, two, 250 And um, if she likes to swim as much as Sophie does, then um, this could be used in the water also. And uh, we're going up to the cottage sometime in August. Um, so in the truck, just to make the dogs comfortable, I do have one of these in the back of my truck now. Um, but this is like a multi-purpose uh, blanket. And it was 350. And it's kind of waterproof. Um, and it's actually a fairly large. I'm not going to open it all the way. It's like uh, 60 inches by 50 inches. So it's a de decent size. So I thought they could lay on this in the truck on the way up to the cottage, like an eight hour, nine hour drive. Um, and then when they're in the cottage, there's kind of like a hardwood floor. Um, and I can lay this down for them so they're comfy on the floor. And then I got this polar fleece blanket. Um, this was $4 and it was kind of a bright neon green with the little red trim there. And um, I thought again if uh, Sophie tends to like to sleep in bed with us. Um, or if the floor is a little bit hard and that we can lay this out um, for the dogs too. But um, it looks like this is a fairly decent size too. So um, yeah, I just like the color. It was nice and bright and cheery. And then in the back, I just got these uh, solar lights for $2 just to line the garden in the back. Um, some of them kind of I mean, they're just cheap little things, so they don't last too long. So I'm just going to replace some of the ones that um, aren't working so great anymore. But it looks so pretty. I just love the little uh, solar lights in the front yard and the backyard. I just got a whole bunch of them. Just looks so pretty lit up at, um, at night. And then they had these um, slipper socks for $4. <laughs> like the cute little bunny there. Um, animal friendly, not made from fur. Uh, these are so thick and warm. Obviously, I don't need them now. It's the summertime. But if I my feet are cold in the wintertime, I have trouble sleeping. I need to have nice, warm, toasty feet. And these are kind of that uh, plaid material. Um, they got these super, super soft lining. I mean, it is thick. These socks are so thick. Um, and they got the little treads. And the treads are kind of heart-shaped. But yeah, these are so warm. Uh, I got another fan. Um, I did one in my other haul. And uh, in the morning after I put my makeup on and I sprayed the setting spray on, this helps the setting spray dry. And it just feels so nice. It just kind of wakes you up. Um, and I was really surprised that how, how really cool the air can be when you're using a fan. Um, so I was going to stick this in my purse. And uh, just whenever I need it. Uh, and I did buy this um, this little sculpture. Uh, the one I bought had, th I think there was three frogs here, and then there was one on top. So I just got another one that just has a couple of frogs on it. But um, I thought this was so cute for the garden outside, and that was that was uh, three fifty also. So yeah, that um, just thought it was so cute. And there's just um, some napkins. Uh, I always like just getting napkins with uh, little designs on it. It's just uh, something simple that just kind of brightens up the day there. Um, that's all about wine and that. And these toffees I bought before, I think they're Canadian company, Kerr's Toffees. Oh, they're really good. They're not too hard. I don't like toffees that are really, really hard. Um, but these ones are fairly soft. There's uh, vanilla cream flavored, rum and butter, mocha, peppermint cream, and licorice flavored. And they are really, really good. And then I found um, 
This is a Korean facial mask, anti-stressed heat therapy, relaxing and nourishing, self-healing, sorry, self-heating oatmeal and honey mask. Now I do uh, buy the self-heating mask at Walmart. It's some pumpkin spice or something like that. And when you put it on, it actually warms up and it feels so good. Um, so this, yeah, this one's oatmeal and honey. And um, uh, let me see. Oatmeal and honey and natural skin protectant helps keep an ideal level of moisture. Um, yeah, so you leave it on for about 15 or 20 minutes and it warms up and um, <clears throat> that'll be nice in the winter time especially. Um, I got, I did buy another crossword uh, puzzle book. Um, I never did crossword puzzles before and then after Garrett passed away, my son, um, I don't think I slept for about a year and I would just be up most of the night. Um, just, you know, reliving things, and uh, um, then I started, I don't know, I just started getting crossword puzzles, and now I'm, like, totally hooked, and um, uh, when I can't sleep, I go through, I don't know how many of these, um, so this was just a dollar twenty-five, and I'm not sure, I think there's 80, yeah, there's 80 puzzles in there, so, um, that was like a, a lifesaver for me, those crossword puzzles. Um, and then I just bought some gift bags because um, you never know when you have to go to like some, all of a sudden you get a phone call, there's someone's having a birthday party or something like that and you don't have any bags. So I got some of these bags from Dollarama and uh, the patterns I thought were just so pretty. And then these are just uh, two bags for two bags for a dollar fifty, and just a little pair of scene on that one. And uh, paisley, I love paisley designs, um, and the colors I thought just look so nice together. And then just this little one with the airplanes on it so so that's it um that's my kind of winners um well actually i could probably these ones i've had before i'll try to make this quick um if you watch enough of my videos you know i like to add flavorings to my teas and coffees and hot chocolates and everything like this and um so i got some more they're really bringing in a lot of like fall scents in that um flavors i should say um, this one, uh, I haven't tried before. This is by Simply Cocktails. This is mint julep. I love anything mint. Any candles that are mint smelling, uh, mint chocolates, mint anything. I just like mint. So you're supposed to add just bourbon and your favorite, um, liqueur. And, um, yeah. So mint julep. And then, um, you're starting to bring out some of the fall ones. This is pumpkin caramel. And this is pumpkin spice. And there's Irish cream. And, ooh, this one looks good. Salted caramel mocha. I did buy s'mores the other day, and it was well, it's really good. And this was on clearance. Uh, this was eight dollars, and they had it on clearance for three dollars. And this is by a different company, um, not the skinny syrups. This is Sebastiano's, uh, and this is in uh, hazelnut. So anyway, yeah, Frank told me not to buy any more, and he's totally hooked. So um, <laughs> we're both going through them really fairly quickly so so that's it for my little uh shopping therapy there um yeah it was just not a good day um so you do what you can um so anyway i hope everyone enjoyed my haul um yeah if you, there's some world journeys coming out again which i'm very excited about they're a great candle and anyway everyone take care give your loved ones a hug and kiss and uh, we'll see you soon bye bye